Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SP.NET C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use password policy in password text box using regular expression validator using SP.NET C Sharp application. Here I am using five types of the uh, regular expression validator and I am writing some validation expression for that. First is minimum eight character at least one alphabet should be there and one numeric should be there so a validation expression should be like this and next it's minimum eight character at least one alphabet one numeric and one special character will insert then only the password uh, regular expression validator will be uh, true third is we need the minimum eight character at least one uppercase alphabet one lowercase alphabet and one numeric number previously we are saying one alphabet one numeric one special character here i am writing one alphabet one lowercase alphabet and one numeric number next is minimum eight character at least one upper case alphabet one lower case alphabet one num num numeric number one number and one uh, special character should be there and last and fifth one is minimum eight character uh, eight to maximum ten character i'm allowing and least at least one upper case one lower case uh, one numeric and one special character so here we'll check the password policy with regular expression so open your visual studio go to the file new and website i am selecting the empty website and i am giving the name for that password policy with click on ok so in in solution explorer you can able to see password policy with uh, regex is created and one file is created that is the web.config file so next if you are not able to see the solution explorer go to the view and click on solution explorer i am going to right click on the solution explorer i am going to create one page and i am i am selecting the web form visual c sharp web form and giving the name for the password policy regex password i am giving the name password regex and code is in a separate file and uh, i'm not selecting any master page i'm not writing any uh, uh, cs code so you can ignore this one also that's not a issue for the this one for the example purpose so click on add so page is created when page is created so we have all the codes uh, i'm just uh, giving this code and let me check First, I am just copying all the code and inside the form, I am pasting all the codes. My code is, uh, codes are here. And one more thing, whenever you are using pass, uh, Java jQuery, so I have to add the app setting. I am going to validation setting. I have to add this one. So go to the web config. Code will be available with uh, chirax.in website click on this this add key validation setting i'm writing the validation mode and value is equal to none and here password policy is there so i'm taking the table because i want the uh, all the data should be in center border is equal to one and this on table data and there is a first one minimum eight character at least one alphabet and one number Second one is alpha one alphabet one number and one special character. Fourth one, at least one uppercase, lowercase and one number, 
वन अपर केस वन लोअर केस वन नंबर एंड वन स्पेशल कैरेक्टर लास्ट वन इज मिनिमम एट मैक्सिमम टेन हेयर ऑलवेज वी आर राइटिंग द मिनिमम एट हेयर आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग आउट द मैक्सिमम कैरेक्टर ऑल्सो सो लेट मी रन दिस वन सो राइट क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड व्यू इन ब्राउजर ऑल्सो यू कैन रन फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो code will be available with the website and uh, youtube also you can just copy and paste regular expression is not a big uh, coding simple one so you can use the code So first one is minimum eight character, at least one alphabet, one num numeric. Let me check. Here I am writing something. So it need password must must be contain eight char eight character and at least one alpha alphabet, one number. One alphabet is there, number is there. Now I am writing something. So the error is go away. So this is my password you can test with this part this password also this is the eight character if you uh, go out of the box then no error and giving the seven character come out so you must contain the eight character you can write any eight character second is minimum eight character at least one alphabet one number one special character so i'm writing something There is a more than eight character, and there is an alphabet, numeric, and and special character. Next, eight character, at least one upper case, lower case, and one numeric. So here I'm writing Chirag. There is one, two, three, four. So I'm getting the error. Special character, everything is there. Just I'm writing the one. Caps also so one upper case, one lower case, okay, one number. So here I'm not allowing any special character. So without a special character, this is the password. Next, here one alphabet, one uh, lower case, uh, one upper case alphabet, one lower case alphabet, one number, one special character. So. Here we need the everything is same, but we need the special character here. So I'm just writing under it. Click outside, so it's going. Last one is minimum eight to ten character, at least one upper case, lower one lower case uh, alphabet, one number, one special character. So I'm writing. So what is the missing? let me uh, password must be contained 8 to 10 8 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there is 11 character so password is chirag at the rate 1 2 3 so like this we can use the pass uh, regex for the password and uh, if you want to hide the password so that's not a big thing just go to the your text box here you write the text mode is equal to password in this way you can hide the password okay so like this you can hide the password now I'm, now for the testing purpose i am not using the text box is equal to password leave it so this this is the code
In this video, we will learn how to use password policy in the password text box using regular expression validator using sp.net csr application. The code will be available with the website and, uh, and YouTube channel. Okay. Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.